Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts with you all about something that was on my mind as I was working through this squat session that you're going to be watching here. Um, and that's the idea of, are you truly working hard in the gym or are you being lazy or afraid to work hard and you just think that you're working hard, right? And this is something that kind of develops as you do more lifting and you spend more time in the gym. You know, early on, you may think that you're working hard and doing enough reps and putting in the time and effort that it takes to be truly good at whatever sport you're trying to be good at. In my case, it's powerlifting. But in reality, you might not be there. And I think sometimes people use the excuse of overtraining or, oh, I had an ache or a pain here to kind of call, call training sessions short more often than they should. And just understand that, especially once you get past the, the newbie gains part of things, this is going to get tough. And you have to really work in order to uh, push yourself beyond where the normal lifter can take it. And for me, I was very fortunate early in my training career. Um, I worked with a guy by the name of George Lehman right before I had met Bill, my coach, Bill McCarthy. And George's perspective was kind of insane. Uh, as a drug-free lifter, a lot of the volume he was pushing maybe uh, wasn't uh, perfect for me, we'll put it that way, and maybe I was pushing overtraining, but, you know, and we're talking sets of 20, uh, 10 sets of 20 for accessories, things like that, pushing to failure, and wraps, the whole nine yards, and I was just a young, dumb kid, and I did it all right? And I was taking four or five hours in the gym. And I'd just be like finishing a set of deadlifts and laying on the floor. And in my opinion, was that pushing it a little too hard? Probably yes. Uh, because that's certainly not how hard we go now. And I'm way stronger and I've progressed way more. But going through that process has taught me that, hey, you can really take it to the limit and be okay, right? And not to be scared of this idea of overtraining, which almost seems like a mythical monster for a lot of people. So bringing it back to the other day while I was training this squat session, you know, I had four sets of three with 675, which, you know, that's getting back up there a little bit as far as the weights. And I, I was a little bit anxious and the gym is darn hot and this session's at the end of the week. So, you know, I would go and I hit my first set of three and it was solid, certainly. But I like work through, it's almost like the five stages of depression that they talk about in psychology classes. You know, I, I would finish the set and I, I'd be like, oh, that was pretty rough. My back's tired from, you know, heavy deadlifts two days ago. And, you know, coming out of the bar, I'm like, should I do another set? And inevitably, you know, every every time this happens when things start to get heavy, I just go through this process of like, well, no, I'm not going to call it. I'm going to sit down, catch my breath, and slowly, it's almost like you have to convince yourself to do another one. It's like, well, I can do one more and I'll survive. And then you do that set and at the end you feel like just as beat up you're like, oh, my knee was a little achy on that one. Uh, work through it. Like, oh, okay, I can do one more set. And before you know it, it, you've done three sets. And it's like, okay, I, I might as well do the last one. And you know, the the cover photo for this um, video is going to be just a puddle of sweat on the ground uh, from this session, where you know I'm just sitting in between and really just beat up. And I think that's the point, you know, where 
you know, I know I'm pushing it. You know, when I'm just forcing myself to do the next set, and by the end, I come out the other side, and I'm like, ah, oh, I was okay. You know, and I think a lot of people struggle, especially in the beginning, to really know the difference between actually just pushing yourself and working hard in the gym and um, looking like you're pushing yourself, playing the part. But when things actually get hard, I think a lot of these people shut it down. So um, I'll just kind of close things up there. I wanted to talk that out in my mind and share that with you all that to get really good at the sport, you have to push yourself and sometimes the best way to learn how hard you have to push is to push yourself too far and actually go through that overtraining process i promise it's not going to kill you uh you will just you know realize it's too far maybe you'll get a small in injury but that tells you hey this is too hard and then reel it back a little bit but as soon as things get a little bit hard and you get some aches and pains, if you truly want to be good, you've got to keep going. All right, so thank you all for tuning in for this episode. Please like and subscribe as always. And until next time, happy lifting.